Something I've been doing quite a lot recently is just having scrambled eggs, like just the scrambled eggs rather than scrambled eggs on toast, on a bagel, in a wrap or something like that. I find that actually having one more egg and no toast actually fills me up than having three eggs and toast rather than four eggs and no toast. So we've gone with that. That is always washed down with a fresh glass of OJ. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. I hope you are enjoying the video so far. I did a nice little scrambled egg mix at the start there. Drop it a like if you enjoyed. Uh, we're going to go for a training session today and just a normal vlog. So sit back, relax, drop the video a like and let's get it started. I can drink whiskey and red wine, champagne and all that. Little scotch on the rocks and I'm fine, I'm fine. Whoa, that's zoomed in. Okay, right, forgive me, still getting used to this camera. Okay, so, I wanted to explain this at the start of today's video, um, so you guys actually see it and know what the hell's going on. Um, the eagle-eyed of you will have noticed that this is not my regular upload day. Usually I upload Wednesdays and Sundays, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, whatever time. Uh, but this is an extra video for one, uh, and for two, it's going up on a Saturday. So this week, I'm gonna be doing Wednesday, Saturday, Monday. The reason being, None of you guys watched my video last time simply because the World Cup was on. England were playing and so the majority of my audience is from the UK um, and so the video just didn't do very well. This Sunday is the World Cup final and so I'm not going to upload on the World Cup final because regardless of whether you're English or not, you're going to be watching it. And so no one will see that video either. So I've decided to do an extra video to make up for the lack of people that saw the last one. And then the usual video just on different days. So you're not missing out on any content, you're actually getting more than you usually do. Um, just on different days to normal. So let me know what you think of that schedule. Maybe I could change it in the future if you like it. If you don't, then I won't bother. But anyway, I've been packing this bag ready to go to Charlotte's for this weekend because we are going out in Birmingham tonight, which is why I have the Fitness YouTubers t-shirt, as you guys keep seeing. But for now, before we go and do that, we actually have to train real quick, but I don't have a lot of time because I have to beat the rush hour traffic because I have to be... Anyway, I've... right, let's go. Take the half. Nine and a half pull-ups. Probably nine if you discount the momentum ones, but I'm impressed with my pull-up progress lately. I've been doing them a lot more frequently and just starting to work out with them so it's not mentally a massive issue if it's halfway through or anything like that. Like in this new push-pull legs routine, I am putting a big emphasis on pull-ups because if I'm able to put on mass in any way, it's gonna be from doing pull-ups. Don't get me wrong, I never skip pull-ups, not at all, because I always want to get better at them. And I think that's finally starting to happen, so... It's quite nice, really, because you work really freaking hard in the gym, and when you just don't see those results, it can be disheartening. I can try and be as motivating as I possibly can and like tell you guys it doesn't matter, but the reality is it does, it gets in your head. So it's nice, it's nice to see some results. So far, as you guys just saw, we actually did one arm narrow grip pull downs just isolating the back and using different muscles in a slightly different way to what we're used to, mixing it up with this new routine. As I said, I'm hoping to make some big back gains on this new plan, right? One thing which I think is very important to mention today, I've been following the tread 
principle. Train, reduce, eat, appreciate, and damage control. They are the principles that I follow on days where I'm gonna be training and drinking alcohol at the same time. As I mentioned, we're going on a night out tonight. What we have done is made sure we have trained tea on the day that we are going out. We have reduced the calories so we had less carbs this morning. I had a light lunch, you know, stuff like that. Take away calories, reduce calories throughout the day, preferably from carbs and fats, keep the protein as it is. Eat, eat something beforehand that's gonna fill you up, that's gonna satisfy you, and prepare something to eat that's healthy when you come back. It will save you from snacking on that midnight kebab. A, the best one of all, appreciate. Appreciate a good night, because they don't come around too often, not for all of us anyway. A big thing I emphasized when I was going through university is appreciating and living in the moment and just enjoying it for exactly what it is. And that is exactly what you guys should do. The final one is D, damage control drink as much water the damage is done now you've had the alcohol the excess calories you've done everything else you possibly can now control that damage that you've done don't limit yourself the next day drink a lot of water when you get in what that is going to do is going to flush all the alcohol out of your system quicker than it would do if you didn't drink all of this water right it's still going to take some time but what it will do is make you feel a lot fresher for the following day meaning you can crack on with the routine and not sway away from those goals Oh my god. If you guys saw like the last video or might have been the video before, I'm not sure. I mentioned how I'm struggling with the increased volume on the muscle groups without the rest time. So like, this is a this is a pull workout. So push, pull, legs, this is the pull workout. You are hitting back. At least push is split between chest and shoulders. Like pull is just back. And so we're hitting back, 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 back. Rather than chest, shoulders, a little bit of back, go back to chest. Like, it's just so much different, so much more intense. It feels so good though, the pump is unreal. that session today. Difficult one, but an intense one because I was in a rush. Time to shower up and head to Birmingham. Oh, oh, oh the powers of editing, people of YouTube. The powers of editing. I hope you're doing good and I hope you are enjoying this video so far. Um, we have zapped over to Birmingham as you guys can already see and I wanted to round off today's video with um, an update, well kind of like the topic of today's video you know. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about my diet, a lot of questions about graduation, a lot of questions about you know the series um, and stuff like that so I thought I'd just address them um, and kind of have it as the focus of the video. So essentially where we're at is that this is 10 weeks, episode 36, something like that, which is mental, because it was only supposed to be a 10 week series. It's now been sort of, you know, 20 weeks, which is not really how I planned it going, but I also don't mind that that's the way that it has gone, because it kind of shows, you know, how life goes in, in a way, because, not everything is going to go as you expect. Not that it's a bad thing that it's kind of gone on, but the diet is kind of stalled. And that is going to be the first thing that I'm going to talk about. And so my diet, I am, as of right now, I'm kind of just maintaining. I'm just, I'm not really gaining any weight. I'm not losing any weight, but I feel like I'm getting on track and actually making progress. The scales aren't going anywhere, but I feel like I'm almost putting on some muscle. Um, it's it's really bizarre. So I don't know whether I'm losing fat and putting on muscle because I'm still new to lifting and all this kind of stuff. Um, I'm kind of in a in a, a kind of confused state about that right now. So I'm kind of figuring that out for myself. So it's kind of hard for me to translate that across to you guys. Um, but as you guys know, the meaning of this 10 week series was for me to show you dieting for 10 weeks. I ended up missing the summer shredding deadline. Or like it's kind of all just got mixed up. Um, but stay with me because we have. A new series on the horizon and I have a very special opening episode for that planned. Uh, it's been in the works for a little while, I've not told anyone, not even Charlotte, my family, not the, not the old man, no one, I've not told 
anyone. But what I can and what I will tell you is that it's going to be very exciting. It's hopefully going to be a very high quality video. Um, I don't want to build it up too much in case I edit it and it's a load of shit. <laughs> but that's that, so stick with me. Ten weeks is coming to a close and uh, a new series is on the horizon. So stay tuned for that one. Drop it a like if you are looking forward to it. Next up, life update. I graduate next week, man. Next week. Time flies. The three years at university is finished. I am done. Graduation is next Friday. So you guys are seeing this on Saturday. The following Friday is my graduation. So I'm going to you know, document it as much as I possibly can and show you everything like I normally would. Um, but I don't know how far I'm going to be able to go with my vlogging camera because I have a big ass camera right now. Um, it's not like I have the small G7X anymore that I can just slide in my pocket. I can't really fit this camera in my pocket. Uh, so I don't know, we're just going to have to play that by ear, but you know, I'm looking forward to showing you everything of the graduation and post-graduation and yeah, I mean times are changing but I'm very excited for the future. I have a lot of things in the works that again nobody knows about. I have a lot of plans. There's a lot going on up here guys. There's a lot going on that you don't really get to see because it's top secret. It is also very important to note that, you know that job interview I was talking about in the last video? Um, I haven't got the job yet, I mean, hopefully I will. I've been, uh, I've been invited back to the next stage, so that is on Wednesday. So this Saturday, the day you guys are seeing this, the following Wednesday, I'll be doing that and then graduation is on the Friday. So I'll keep you guys sort of involved as much as I can. So that's where we're at with the series, where we're at with the diet, where we're at with life in general, graduation and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I haven't actually sort of I was going to say sit down, but I'm, I'm stood up, sort of. I haven't spoken to you one-on-one -on -one and fed you that information specifically, so I thought I'd kind of dedicate a section of a video to it um, to keep you guys in the loop. So, that is going to round off this one, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please drop a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. We are at like 1,124 subscribers at the time of filming this. Um, something like that. So, you know, your guys' support is just amazing. It's endless. You guys, like, you blow my mind every single day. It, it's just thank you for your endless support. It really does mean a lot. So, as I say, guys, that is going to round off today's video. Drop a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Together, we will grow. And I will see you guys in the next video.